for the parade. I'm gonna ride on a float. One of my favorite parts of a parade is when people throw treats off the parade floats. We're gonna throw goldfish crackers. We're gonna throw fruit snacks. Wow, thinking of all these snacks is making me hungry. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Jayla. Hoo! Hoo! Feeling hungry, are you? Hi, Ollie. I'm thinking about snacks for the parade. And it's making me hungry. Yummy food is good. It's true. I know some people who were super hungry, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo! Hoo! Follow me through. Follow me through. Hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. And wow, oh wow, I am thankful today. Thank you, God, for this beautiful day. And for the colorful leaves. And for the pumpkin donut I had this morning. And in today's story, some people learn to thank God for their food. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with some people called the Israelites. Everyone say hello. Hello. Look at their faces. Do the Israelites look happy? No, they don't. They look very unhappy. The Israelites were walking in a desert. There are no trees to sit under in a desert. There is no cool water to swim in. 
there are no grocery stores or restaurants for food. And the Israelites had been walking in a hot desert for a very long time. They walked and they walked and they walked. Wait, what was that? Did you hear that? That sounds like someone's tummy growling. Is your tummy growling? My tummy isn't growling. It must be the Israelites. What does it mean when someone's tummy is growling? Yes, it means they are hungry. And the Israelites were very hungry because they didn't have any food. God knew that the Israelites needed food. So he told their leader Moses that he would send meat at night and bread in the morning. Wow, God is so good. That night, they had plenty of meat to eat for dinner. Everyone was so happy to have food. Let's say thank you, God. Thank you, God. Then the next morning, there were small pieces of bread all over the ground for the people to eat. Let's say thank you, God. Thank you, God. Every day, God made sure the people had meat to eat at night and bread to eat in the morning. Wow, God is so good. God gave the Israelites food to eat. Wow, we can thank God for food. Thank you, God, for our food. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God gave the Israelites food, and God gives us food, too. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God gave the Israelites bread and meat to eat every day, and God can give us food, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. I am so thankful God gives us food. I can't wait to share all these treats at the parade. And maybe I'll have a snack right now. See you next time. Bye. Always give thanks to God. Ephesians 5.20 Always give thanks to God. Ephesians 5.20